Is there a magic pill? One thing that could help with multiple health problems for your dog? Find out what it is, if it's right for your dog, in this video. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Next week, I'm having a brand new specific dog health and nutrition webinar. You can click the link below to sign up and get more information. Back. So I came home from CrossFit. And what do I hear my wife say? Andrew! The dog just threw up by her chair! Not good. This is the said dog. And this, that's that vomited kibble. Yum. So she's got an upset stomach. But there's even more going on. She's been licking and itching far more lately, as you can see here, and starting to impact her sleep, impact my sleep, all seem to make me think she's got some type of allergic reaction going on. But there's more. Ula, what else is going on with you? Well, she's a quirky little dog. She, not only does she has some quirks, I think there's more than just quirkiness going on. It's things that cause her brain to sort of thought, spin out of control, that show up as really unusual, not necessarily desirable behaviors. Of course, now that I've got the camera out, she already knows like something's not quite right. You're not seeing the full extent of those anxieties, but trust me, she's got them. I mean, if there's something I could do that could help her be less anxious, just be a little bit more calmer, to potentially help deal with that vomiting, diarrhea, the GI upset, to also help her deal with, you know, this kind of licking and acting and scratching these recurring allergies, you know, I would give it to her. The, the big reveal. So what is it that could help with three of those pretty common dog health disorders? Well, Tula, under the red tea towel, we have what it is. Dun, 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 what is it? Is it, what is it, what is it? Yes, how to help your dog for vomiting, for diarrhea, for potentially for allergies, also for some of the anxiety related disorders. It's in this. It is, dun, 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 it's those good bacteria known as probiotics that could be so, so beneficial for those particular disorders. So they look like this. There's millions and hundreds of millions of small little bacteria. They're called probiotics. Those are the good beneficial bacteria. Probiotics are in both of my dog supplements, uh, Ultimate Canine and Ultimate Canine Advanced, uh, which Tula is gonna start to get more of it pretty regularly. So Tula, we're being ill and got what you have going on, in particular for that vomiting. I give to you some yummy Ultimate canine. What do you think? Good girl. There. <laughs> Weird. Good girl. Here you go. Here. There you go. So it's a lot easier if you were just to mix it in to her canned food. But I just wanted to show you that even little Tula, who's a bit of a fussier eater, will consume Ultimate Canine right off the spoon. 
I'll put a link to some of the studies um, which one show the specific beneficial effects of probiotics for GI disorders, vomiting and diarrhea. Secondarily, uh, for some of the potential benefits for our dogs have allergies. And then third, for the whole direct link between the gut brain, the gut brain health, and how you know probiotics are essentially the key uh, to linking that and improving that. Is it a magic pill? Kind of. I mean, they're, they've been there all along. Yet to see you know, all this research now, you know, showing all those potential clinical benefits, I think are huge. And just starting to now to be appreciated in veterinary medicine. I'm having a, a webinar next week called Dog Health and Nutrition. So I mean, in it, I'm covering many of the common dog diseases, uh, their links with nutrition, and specifically what you can be doing about it, holistically, naturally, you know, such as using probiotics. I encourage you to attend the webinar, it's free. You can click the link below for more information. So thanks a lot you guys for watching today's video. Thank you Tula for being relatively tolerant of all of my stuff. Hope you found it informative and interesting. Love to hear your feedback. Feel free to post your comments, suggestions for future videos. Once again, it's Dr. Jones and I'll be talking to you again real soon.